Very good evening. I'm Aditi Lama with the Tuesday Night South Asian News segment on Vision of Asia. Bringing you the most prominent activity within the diaspora, we are following up with all key developments and highlights pertaining to the South Asian interests, needs and contributions. We have a lineup of stories reflecting upon Indian culture, performance arts and fashion tonight. But before beginning, addressing an international news, our thoughts and prayers go out for the entire nation of France and the city of Paris. Yesterday, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, an icon of medieval architecture, went up in flames, a blaze that devastated the landmark with the collapse of the iconic spire, reverting the world's attention as nearly 500 firefighters raced to the scene. Thousands gathered nearby to watch the effort to save it and pray it. Many were in tears. The cathedral, which dates back to the 12th century now, will go through a process of rebuilding. French President Emmanuel Marcon is pledging to rebuild the Gothic masterpiece. Quite a devastating news for a major historic landmark. Again, our thoughts with France as it rebuilds the Great Cathedral. With that, let's begin our South Asian news segment for tonight, taking a look at the headlines. Spring Soiree 2019 presents Fashion Trunk Show in New York City. Jersey Dance Stars 2019 presents Indian Dance Competition in New Jersey. Marathi Vishwa celebrates 40th anniversary in East Brunswick, New Jersey. More right after a short break, stay with us on Vision of Asia, voice of the community. We'll be right back. And welcome again, I'm Nati Lama and you are watching Vision of Asia South Asian news segment. We have tonight much on Indian culture and its influence amongst young generations of the community. Performance arts definitely has been a key aspect of imbibing more of the culture, language and heritage of India and a great method of educating and raising awareness on the South Asian community. With that, in New Jersey recently, another successful presentation of Indian performance art was taken place at the Jersey Dance Stars Season 2. Presented by organization Indians in Jersey City and the New Jersey Primary Care, the dance competition brought together local talents and dance schools to participate in the event comprising of various age groups and categories. Featuring a great number of young Indian Americans, the dance competition surely produced a stage of embracement and passion for Indian dance and expressions. Many in the age categories of 4, 6 and 8 years old showed tremendous capabilities and skills from various dance schools joined by the category of solo dance and duets. Let's take a look at what they all had to say to ITV Gold and with glimpses from the performances. We are growing really, really fast. This is the second year of JC Dance Stars 2019 and we had 100 participants. Uh, it's going great. There were uh, age groups zero, uh, 2 years to 25 years and uh, 100 kids and adults performed today. Me and uh, my teammate Anuja were the, are the organizer. You can always check our website which is Indians in Jersey City. <laughs> actually double the participant from the last year and we are expecting more and more to come in the next year hoping for the best let's see how good platform we can give to the, these small kids because they are really really talented <laughs> My name is Mahi and my experience here is really great. I loved it here. Um, I uh, did a medley on Madhuri Dixit songs. So 
uh, we had several categories. Uh, for the solos, there was four to six, uh, seven to nine, I think nine to 12, and then 13 to 16, and then the uh, 16 and up category. And for the groups, we had adult categories, 16 and up, um, and nine to 16, and also four to six and seven to nine. Similar categories, however, I feel like there were so many solo performers and very few group performances. I wish there were more group performances in this competition. Uh, had a great spe spe spectacular get dance competition, uh, Jersey City Dance Stars 2019, and um, uh, Mamta and the Indians and Jersey City team did a great job. Congratulations to all the performers and to everybody who participated in this. Um, you did a great job, everyone. <laughs> We just concluded the JC Dance Stars. It was a phenomenal competition. The dancing was incredible. Uh, the Bollywood uh, dances were remarkable. And it was really a tribute to both the uh, Indians and Jersey City community that did a wonderful job of organizing it, and the uh, dancers. They were incredible, and it's a, you know, part of what makes Jersey City such a special place. So thank you for having me. New Jersey-based Marathi organization Marathi Vishwa recently held this 40th anniversary celebrations at the East Brunswick High School. The event witnessed three generations of Marathi Vishwa together and celebrated accomplishments and growth of the organization over the years. The event saw several musical performances and speech addresses applauding the efforts of the Marathi Vishwa and the numerous events catered to unite and organize the Marathi-speaking Indian community in New Jersey with the goal of preserving its cultural heritage. The organization takes pride in strengthening the Marathi community in New Jersey, featuring prominent events and festivals from the region, along with getting its members more involved into the community here with much charitable and social work. We have tonight highlights from the event with key organizers and supporters of Marathi Vishwa. Let's take a look. from 
uh, New Jersey and we are enjoying Marathi Vishwa that is Marathi Mandal's 40th uh, birthday we are completed 40 years here uh, and wish to wish to uh, wish all uh, my Marathi speaking people a uh, very happy birthday also today is a Gudi Padwa so I wish to wish every Hindu uh, happy new year thank you Today program was wonderful and all the songs were uh, selected and uh, the commentary was uh, very intellectual, uh, stimulating and uh, we thank ITV for uh, pro giving this program on their ITV. <laughs> आज के गाने में जो थे उसमें अभंग लावणी भक्ति गीत भावगीत प्रेम गीत चित्रपट संगीत सारे सॉन्ग्स थे सो इट वॉज लोकल कलाकार लोकल पार्टिसिपेंट्स थे एंड वी हैड गुड टाइम परफॉर्मिंग इट थैंक यू सो मच Today we are celebrating the 40, 40th anniversary of Marathi Vishwa. We started this program with, uh, uh, first of all, honoring the six founder members who started uh, this uh, organization in 1978. Uh, it was followed by uh, a great singing performance uh, by the, the, the local talent. The program was well liked, well received by the audience. Now we are breaking for lunch after lunch. We have yet another musical program, uh, which, uh, as we, as we can see here, the 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 auditorium is full with uh, almost 750 people. They all are looking forward to this. This will be followed by a Marathi play. The artists have come from India. The fam famous ones are Prashant Damle and Kavita Lad. Uh, in this program, this this is just day one. Uh, tomorrow we're going to repeat some something similar, and we will have another musical program. One, one act play uh, followed by a dance performance by the Bollywood star, no other than Miss Archana Zogre. And it's time for another short break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia. We'll be right back. Welcome again. You are tuned into Vision of Asia, bringing you prime South Asian highlights from all across. 
Concluding the show tonight on the ongoing theme of celebrating the Indian influence here, we now have highlights from the Spring Soiree 2019 Fashion Trunk Show held in New York City. Vandapuri Events organized the Spring Soiree bringing together an ensemble of collection featuring pieces from Jayanti Reddy, Roma Bhalla, Lotus Sutra, Priya Chabria, Remat Designs, Anika, Harshi and Mayo. For many Indian fashion followers and fashion enthusiasts, the trunk show featured new and exclusive collection pieces from the spring 2019, bringing the South Asian market an avenue to explore prominent designers and labels from India, really bridging the gap between Indian fashion industry and the community here. Let's take a look at the highlights from the event with designers and their collections. <laughs> I'm here right now at Bar Bar, Manhattan. We have an exhibition here. It's called Spring Soiree because spring is here and so are all the spring colors. Right behind me, I have three designers in a row. Of course, we have many more, but right now I'm talking about Priya Chabria and I'm so excited to see her collection right here. Uh, she's been traveling all US and I see that a lot of brides are coming up to her for orders. She's amazing and I see a lot of people showing interest and looking at her huge iPad and ordering stuff. Hello everyone here, this is Hina from House of Chic. Um, in New York City, we have an amazing show going on right now. As you can see, like we have so many designers on board and it's beautiful collection, very, very colorful. Um, I don't know what do I say about the collection. We have some uh, amazing pieces from Jenti Reddy. We have great pieces from Adya from Calcutta. We have Anika from Delhi. We have Inara from Mumbai. I mean, we have designers from all over the place, from India. So please come shop with us, some fabulous collection. So we have her collection right from the source. The Karigars are with her. The real Lucknow Karigars with Lucknowese and chicken curry. So basically, I do chicken curry and mukesh work with other hand embroideries on pure fabrics. So my USP is like I do pure fabrics and hand embroideries and I want to actually basically chicken curry is very uh, common and well appreciated in Bollywood also and uh, it's a very in thing and not the in, in thing only it is timeless like a jewelry piece yes. chicken curry and mukesh work is just timeless embroidery so basically and I do fusion wear I give a twist of ruffles you see my designs more of shararas and these are, if they were worn separately, the sharara and dupatta. Create clothes for parties. I know this generation, you know, my children, my daughter, college going kids, they want something fusion. They don't want that pure, you know, salvar suit all the time. So there for them, her collection is amazing for every age group. I would say I wear her clothes and I always get attention and compliments. So thank you so much, Krishma, for your designs and creativity. Tell us more what you've got for us in uh, America this time. I've got my Indo-Western line, which is wearable at a lot of occasions. It's not necessarily marriage wear in between of marriages. Then uh, you can wear it for uh, your parties and everything. Light embroidery, cuts and it's trendy. What are the fabrics that you're using, Rishma? I'm using cotton-based silk and uh, a lot of chiffons and uh, I've used this time bandhanis also. So it's a combination of a lot of Indian fabric. So keep looking at Lotus Sutra and uh, we want to welcome these designers from India so that they keep making us trendy here on East Coast. So thank you, Karishma. Thank you. I have uh, a 
very dear friend of mine, Kiran. She has a brand called Meho. I love her collection. I've seen Sonam Kapoor wear her suits, and I fondly wear her clothes as well. So today, I want to ask her, what is your inspiration, and what have you got for America this time? Oh uh, well, our inspiration really has been Indian fabrics all this time. Uh, India is such a rich storehouse of beautiful handlooms and textiles. So every time that we design a collection, it's starting with a handloom, starting with a print, which is always derived from India. Uh, this time the palette that we've got is pretty nice. It has a lot of uh, jade greens. It has a lot of lime greens, deep reds, uh, bottle greens as well. And um, we've done a lot of like fine zari pin tucking with bird motifs in gold, elephant motifs in gold. So yeah, that's what we're getting this time uh, to the US. I love the idea of elephant motifs in gold and I love it. Uh, simple cuts but so graceful and fabric and the you know the fineness of work is fantastic. So please take a look at her whenever you get her. Myoho and this is the designer herself from India from Mumbai. I'm Chi Mumbai, yes. So uh, thank you so much for being here today. This is Neeti here and she's here with her jewelry collection. Right behind me you can see her bridal collection. We have some brides who are very curious to see her, their look and she's helping them out. So what is your inspiration? What have you got for us here? Um, my inspiration is really the rich Indian cultural heritage. The designs, the colors, the motifs, the fabrics, the beads, the, the gold work, it's all so unique and so rich and powerful. That's what inspires me to style and design my own jewelry and bring it here to my clients. Yes, I did have uh, a few brides this morning who were looking for a bridal set and it's, it's just such a pleasure to style them. Uh, uh, to style them with a piece that goes with their outfit for their big day. I feel and when they're happy it just is so satisfying um, it just feels like I became a part of their special day so I it's totally, really really satisfying I totally, I totally agree it's so beautiful and jewelry today as we were talking earlier uh, there's like a revolution with this costume jewelry everybody wants to try new things every day something that matches their outfit every time their look kind of becomes bigger with this uh, you know the, what do you what has happened in the past few years in this jewelry uh, world what would you say so when i was growing up we i always saw my mother wear real gold and diamond jewelry and That's right. And we were not allowed to wear any costume jewelry. It had to be diamond studs or gold studs and just nothing else. But the jewelry has evolved, you know. People realize that that is so much money and investment intensive and it usually sits in the locker. So they prefer buying costume or bridge jewelry now uh, just so they can coordinate the look each time That's and right. not just have one big necklace set to wear to every single occasion. Yes, they want a different look all the time. Yes, absolutely. And that has allowed us to be more creative and use various concoctions of metals, come up with metal alloys, uh, carve them, uh, do different design elements with them, fuse them with other cultures and designs from other cultures, awesome. and uh, come up with something very lightweight, very wearable, durable, and it doesn't take a whole big check out of their bank. And that is all for us out the Asian news segment for tonight. Send us your suggestions to get your voices and organizations on our show. Or if you have any comments on the ongoing Indian general election 2019, email us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on Facebook at itvgold. Remember to also subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch many of our popular shows for free. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is Vision of Asia and I'm Aditi Lamba. Take care and be well.